Hi friends, when you are thinking about making essential oil at home, there would be one question which will be arising automatically in your mind. How much essential oil I can get? To answer this question, you have to consider following factors. The most important one is the average content of essential oil in a chosen variety of raw material. The second one is how much raw material I can put in your column. And uh, the third one is uh, how big is your column. Uh, I will elaborate on this. So uh, there are raw materials which have really high content of essential oil, up to 35%. This means you can get up to 350 milliliters of essential oil uh, from this given uh, chosen uh, variety. And uh, there are uh, other ones which have extremely low content of essential oil. One of the most uh, known essential oil is rose essential oil. But it's extremely expensive because the content of essential oil in rose petals is very low, around uh, 200, which means you have to distill 5 kg of those particular raw material to get only 1 ml of essential oil. This is the most important factor on how, how much essential oil you can get, because uh, it depends really on the raw material itself. The second one is about the size of, of your uh, column. Uh, so we have really small columns and really big ones. And the bigger column you have, the more raw material you can put into it, and it means more essential oil you will get. So, so this is very simple. And uh, the, the other side of this question is uh, how much essential oil I can put into column. And it uh, depends uh, on the raw material itself as well, because some raw materials are really spacey, taking a lot of space, like uh, eucalyptus uh, dry leaves, uh, and uh, some other materials like uh, ros dry rosemary, uh, taking much less uh, space. So you can get, m you can put more raw material into one column. And then, uh, on uh, on behalf of these three uh, things you can find out how much essential oil you will get. But this is more theoretical. You have to really practice and, and get your raw material and do distillation to find out what is uh, the real yield. And uh, we can give you some more information on some basics, uh, basic raw, uh, raw materials. But the variety is so big, so uh, you really have to make some research on that. If you will have any question on distillation of essential oil at home or hydrozole, please let us know and we will be happy to guide you on this question.